Now to a story you'll only see on Nine. Our team is taking you inside the Craven Correction Institution. We received unprecedented access to the prison for a closer look at the program teaching inmates soft skills needed to succeed on the outside. On your side's Dominique Moody had a chance to see that program firsthand. Dominique. Get in, Shayla. We first introduced the Keys to Freedom back in August. The goal to provide inmates and ex offenders with the right tools once they get out of prison and to end the recidivism rate in the state. Three principles are taught healthy relationships, sobriety, and employment. I want you to remember check your attitude. Come to prison and to get out of prison with a different mindset to want more and had a hunger for more. That's what that's what drove me to stay out. On Monday night, Gregory Dunk returned to the place that changed his life, hoping his words can change another. Just a few months ago, Dunk was behind bars at the Craven Correctional Facility in prison with five felonies. Coming from where I come from, it's rough because I was in the same prison for almost three years. He made the decision to buy into the keys of freedom. I started out in the class not really caring, but it's like three, four days in. I was feeling it. I felt that I wanted something different for my life. It's graduation, and this time, Dunk is the keynote speaker. It's hope, man. It's hope. Like, you can do it. I can really give somebody a solid story. I just use the skills that I had and apply them to life. The process requires a group effort and a solid leader. For Dunk, the class allowed him to pick up a mentor. And he really had a genuine heart for us. Like, he, he loved us. You could tell, like, he really cared about us. You can't really preach to me about the streets if you've never been in them. You can't preach to me about bettering yourself if you haven't been where I've been and bettered yourself. It is more important than the that mentor is Greg Singleton, the lead instructor of Keys to Freedom. From inside of the correctional institution to the outside is a major change. It felt good to know that it worked, that the program worked. Singleton is a beacon of light on the inmates and ex-offenders. When he first got out, he didn't have the skills needed to succeed. The key reason why Singleton returns every Tuesday and Thursday. Stand up and give me your elevation pitch or tell me why should I hire you in you an ex-con. To articulate and present themselves, whether it's via their body language or just mere words. Perception and hope is what both Dunk and Singleton want inmates and the people outside these walls to understand. It's important that society see that there are people like me that get out of prison and that can be a plus factor in society. Your record don't define who you are. The person who you are defines who you are. The 68-hour class allows inmates to work towards reducing their level of incarceration. The next Keys to Freedom class is expected to begin in January of 2019. Dominique Moody, not on your side.